Today, September 11th, is a National Day of Remembrance. I will never forget it. I came into work early here, and I anchored local news cut-ins much of the day when Dan rather took a rare break from the national coverage. Now, what I did not know early on was that a Branson man was not answering the phone in his office at the World Trade Center. John Willett never did answer that call, and his remains have never been found. But here's a conversation I had with his family several years ago. And this is tall as John. John was six foot four. And he Twin did. copper towers over six feet tall, exactly the height of Lucy and Ron Willett's son, John. The 29-year-old analyst for Cantor Fitzgerald died six years ago today. That's the tower John would have been in. Yes. This is one of three memorials the couple treasures, but no parent wants to have. Oh, look at that. At the tender age of 10, John Willett wrote in his autobiography he had a duty to serve. I love this. It says, future me. I think in 20 or 30 years from now, I'll be retired from the armed forces. And here he draws himself in a <laughs> tank. Hi. There's John. Instead of military service, John served as Taney County Treasurer. And here's John at the White House. This is where I think he was headed. But he wound up heading to the big city, found a steady girlfriend. That was the weekend before September 11th. Yes. Really. He made a ton of friends and kept a wicked sense of humor. That's what everybody loved about John, I think, because he was so much fun. That's his style. You're not meant to lose your children. They're supposed to outlive you. And so. And this is your only child? Uh-huh. So, no hope for grandchildren. We've. We have a few that we've adopted along the way <laughs> and helped spoil. This is Eva and this is Melina. Out of a tragedy, though, comes a love the Willits never expected. They become very close to the daughters and wife of John's boss, who also died at the World Trade Center. When we were at, the, at Ground Zero, amongst those people, that was probably the most rewarding feeling of comfort. Was it? To be, yeah, to be able to, to hug people that had something mutually in common with there he is. Oh, there he is back in the corner, yeah. He's so much taller than everybody. <laughs> Memories like this one feel like hugs from John, especially this moment captured at a friend's wedding. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. The Willards say John still touches them in unexpected ways, like what happened one Mother's Day. That morning when I got out of bed, I said, please, God, in some way, let let John show his love for his mother today. I see something shiny down on the ground. I just walked over and I picked it up and I took it over to the, to the car and I handed it to Lucy. You found that at a gas station on Mother's Day. With a scholarship in his name and a house and heart full of memories, the Willits continue to honor their son. What do you miss most about him? His hugs, his smile, his just him being here. Mm -hmm. But they'll keep watching for signs that their beautiful child is still with them. I think he's still with us, and he will be until we meet again. He'll be watching over us. And you know, they still feel that way. Yeah, how could they not? Well, now, Ron Willett passed away a few years ago, mm -hmm. but I mean, it, it, there was never a day that they didn't think of him, and I know there's never a day that Lucy doesn't think of him. Mm -hmm. But, you know, talk about wonderful people. I mean, they sent me flowers on 9-11. You know, that's Ooh. just the kind of people they are. And I haven't talked to her for a while, but I did ring her up today. Every few months, I try to give her a ring. Yeah. And so she's doing great, you know, and she just, she can feel, I think she can feel the love and the support of the people from here. Yeah. Well, God bless her. I know. I know. It is tough. Okay, coming up, more Ozarks Live. We'll be back before you know it.